All right, so I'm at the gym. I already got my fucking pump cover off because I'm already sweating, bro. This fucking summertime heat is killing me. But sipping on that fucking thermogenic fuel. If you haven't tried these rings, try them. They're way better than the originals. I haven't looked at the ingredients or anything, but all I know is the thermogenic fuel says right there, there's two flavors. Shit be hitting, bro. I don't know what they do. Anytime that I don't have pre, I go get a thermogenic fuel. They only have them at a few gas stations, so they're kind of hard to find. So you, you got to scout out <laughs> which gas stations have them. But back day. Last back day, I almost tore my trap. I almost tore my trap because I didn't warm up because I'm fucking retarded. Today, I'm going to start with some lap pull downs so that, you know, I'm nice and warm. I usually do that, but last time I was like, fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to row some heavy ass weights. I was cracked out on fucking caffeine and shit like that. So I was really ready and that was a horrible idea. Yeah, so we're gonna warm up so that we don't run into that same thing. All right, let's get this fucking back day going. We warmed up our lats a little bit, you know, just did a few feeler sets. I don't wanna almost tear my trap like last week. So this is probably gonna be the first set, like actual set. Bro, you're standing in front of the camera. Ah, you're chilling. On my wrist. Damn, that shit hurted, bruh. Not gonna lie, my lats are getting pretty pumped. I feel like I could fly. I got the wings. Damn, drop to the fucking weight I was warming up with. Fuck. 
Ay, 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 ay. Oh, that fucking, that hurts. So last back day, when I started doing 225, I swear I could feel my trap ripping. So I've warmed up better because I'm not retarded. And hopefully 225 will not be a problem. Ooh, damn, I'm veiny. Goddamn. For your heavy compound lifts, for this instance, for this workout, a barbell row, don't be afraid to, you know, use a little body English, a little momentum. Get that weight up. Ego lifting's good for compound lifts. You know, a little bit of ego lifting. Don't hurt yourself, but still. Might drop down to 185 instead of 225. We'll see how this set goes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Definitely going down the 185. Yeah. This shit heavy. It's just like Mook said that I'm fucking weak, right? It's the worst you're ever gonna see that guy right there. <laughs> that guy right there? I fucking hate that dude, bro. Yeah, that guy right there? The fuck him, bro. Oh, my lower back is fucking fatigued. If someone told me the deadlift or do like an RDL right now, I'd fucking kill myself. Camera, camera, camera. Lou, camera, camera. I don't know what to call this. I just kind of think of it as a cable dumbbell row. You know, instead of a dumbbell, you just have that constant tension because of the tape, the cable. It's pretty good for feeling your lats and getting a pump. I don't suggest doing this in the beginning. This is definitely like a finisher type movement. Just get blood flow going, pump, all that shit. <clears throat> Mm. Mm. 
Should I get naked? But like, <laughs> chill out, bro. Me in a public gym. It's the best place to say some such shit. Bugs. Oh, they're bugs. Oh, man. He like, said, kill that shit. What about it? Are you looking for the cutness or? Just got out of the gym. Just had my Rice crispy, my post workout carbs. Make sure you always get your post workout carbs. Protein shake. I love these motherfuckers. Everyone loves a fair life. But I'm only drinking this because I need to, I'm on the go. Like I need to leave. I can't go to my house and get a meal and shit like that. So I'm drinking this sadly. I love these motherfuckers. They're fantastic. But you should, you need to be eating real food. You're not going to grow from these, sadly, because these companies can lie to you about how much protein's in here. Something to do with raising the magnesium, I think. I don't know. But they go off of a certain metric on to quantify how much protein is in every thing and like your protein bars and all that. So all they have to do is add more of that one ingredient that makes it look like there's more protein when there's really not. So you're just shorting your gains. But you know what can't lie to you? Chicken, beef, steak, literally real foods. Real foods, they can't lie with, they can't lie to you about how much protein you're getting. So make sure you're eating your real foods. I would not be drinking this. Do not drink these as meal replacement shakes or whatever the fuck. Oh God, there's sweat in my eye. Thinking that you're going to get big from that. They're lying to you about how much protein's in there. Same with protein bars. Shit like that. It's a multi-billion dollar company or whatever. So don't rely on that. It's a supplement for a reason. They're supplements. Not replacements. Yeah, that was a, that was a good back workout though. Lou dropped a whole 45 on his foot. So we kind of had, there was a, there was a decent sized break in the middle of the workout because we had to, you know, make sure he didn't fucking break his foot. But so that kind of ruined the pump a little bit, but I guess his health is more important, I guess. So yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you tomorrow.